Hi everyone, I am Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade chicken tortilla soup. Now this recipe is really simple, very easy to make, and I'm going to also give you a few short, shortcut tips. Alright, so let's go over our ingredients for this recipe. We're going to need some corn tortillas, right here, and we're going to need about a pound and a half of chicken breast. You can also use leftover chicken if you have it, or a, a rotisserie chicken would work really nice. Okay, over here we have one uh, finely diced up yellow onion. We're going to need a pinch of salt, that's to taste. And here I have some salsa that I purchased from Trader Joe's and it's a chipotle salsa, so that can be pretty spicy. I'm going to be using about two tablespoons, but you can use more if you like it hotter. Here we're going to be using three cloves of garlic uh, minced, and then over here we've got some corn. I used frozen corn. You're going to need about two and a half cups. Here I've got some chicken broth, four cups of that. One can of uh, diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes works uh, just fine. We'll need some oil for deep frying the tortillas and just a little bit, maybe a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I'll have all the ingredients listed below in the proper amount so you can get that right down there in the, in the description. Okay, so the first thing we want to start with is cutting up our tortillas because we're going to need to fry these in some oil. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them into strips. Now the other thing you can do is you can use um, tortilla chips already made if you want a shortcut. That's one of my shortcut recommendations. So I'm just going to cut these in strips and then cut them in half like this. And then we're going to fry that. Okay, so this one here. And they don't have to be perfect. You know, these are just tortilla trips, st strips. So now we're ready to fry up our tortillas. Now what I've done here is I've taken a, a relatively small frying pan and I poured in about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of oil. I have it over medium heat and I'm waiting for it to get hot. Now the way we want to test it is take one of your tortilla strips and put it in. You see how that bubbles up nicely? That means the oil is hot enough. Ideally you want that temperature around 350, 375 degrees, but I'm just going to go ahead and wing it. I'm not going to use a thermometer today. And if the temperature, you know, you have to play with your temperature a little bit. Up and down, if it starts to get too hot, then you want to turn it down a little bit. And then when it gets if you, and certainly if you add any oil to this because it starts to cook away, then you're going to want to turn the flame up a little because that oil, that additional oil will cool off your, your temperature. So just flip them over. We're going to cook them up until they uh, get nice and crispy and brown. And then we'll remove them to a, uh, I have a paper towel covered plate over here that I'll just put them on to, to drain. All right, so come in here real close and see. I'm going to put some tortilla strips in, and I want you to see how vigorous they're bubbling up, and that's what you're looking for. You want to have a nice, uh, good bubble on there going when you put them in. Now, some of my tortillas, like these tortillas are thicker than I normally would use, but it works fine for soup. Uh, and these thicker ones, you really have to have some really hot heat here to make them nice and crispy. Now, we're going to take these out when the bubble goes down to it's almost not bubbling anymore. Okay, so this is what it looks like when, when they're ready to come off the heat. All right, there's just a little bit of boil, a little bit of bubble there going on, and so now I'm just gonna hold them up and drain them a little bit. And you can see how nice and golden brown this whole, uh, this whole batch looks. All right, so now that we're done with our chips, now you might be thinking, well, what am I gonna do with all that oil? Well, I want you to save it, don't throw it away. And what you want to do with this is use it in your beans. So go over to my video where I show you how to make refried beans and you'll know exactly what to do with this oil. It'll make your beans fantastic. Okay, our next step is to go ahead and cut up our chicken. So I'm going to cut it up, in, up into chunks and then I would cut these pieces into thirds, about this, this size here. That's a good size. You don't want it too big for soup. And then after we cut this up, we are going to be cooking it on the stove. Now we're ready to start cooking our chicken. So I've got a frying pan here set up over some medium high heat. I'm going to add some olive oil, maybe a tablespoon to the pan. And then we're going to just cook our chicken in this with a little bit of salt. And this should just take, you know, five minutes or so to cook. We want to cook it till it's completely cooked, obviously. 
And then we'll just sprinkle some salt over that. And we'll just cook this until it's done. Okay, so it's been about six minutes and the chicken is done. And I actually went in and I broke up some of the pieces even smaller. I just took my spatula here and I just cut them in half because I like, personally, I like smaller pieces of chicken in my soup. All right, so now that this is done, all I'm going to do is transfer it to another bowl, or actually to our pan, excuse me. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pour out all the water and oil mixture that's left in the pan. With this leftover, there's a lot of water in this oil, so I'm just going to dump it all out and start fresh with uh, some, new, some new olive oil. So just dump, that, dump it out. Turn your heat back on. All right, so now we're going to put another tablespoon of olive oil in our pan, and we're going to saute our onions. And we're going to do this for about 15 minutes. We want these onions to soften up and caramelize just a little bit. It really makes, brings out the sweetness in the onion and, and really makes, it, uh, makes the whole soup so much better. We've had the onions sauteing here for now for about 15 minutes, and you can see, look at how beautiful golden brown they are. Those uh, sugars are caramelizing and making these onions nice and sweet tasting. Now I'm going to add, since I, I'm pretty much done with this, I'm going to add the garlic. And we'll saute the garlic for three minutes so that we can, you know, until it, uh, until you can start to smell it. And then we're going to start blending. So we'll just stir it up. We don't want this to burn at all. So I have it on low right now, so we'll just do this for another three minutes and be right back. Okay, our onion mixture is done. I'm going to turn off the heat. And now we're going to start blending in our food processor. So I'm going to go ahead and place all of the onions and the garlic mixture into my food processor. Now we're going to add our can of diced tomatoes. And then now I'm going to add the chipotle peppers. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons. You can play with this, like I said before. If you like it hotter, you can add more. And we just want to pulse this up a little bit so it's not so thick. But we don't want to make it too liquidy either. That should about do it. All right, now we're going to just transfer it to our pan over here with the chicken in it. So go ahead and pour that in. Now I'm going to add the broth to it and our Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm only adding just a tiny bit of this, just a half a teaspoon. I don't want to overpower it. I just want to give it a little bit of flavor. Here we go. I'm going to add our corn, and then we're going to simmer this for about 10 minutes, and everything should be nice and hot. And I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on that as well. Our soup is done. I do want to mention that when, when I was heating it up, I added some extra salt and some more chipotle salsa to it because it needed some more stuff, so make sure you do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to serve it up. You can see the steam rising here. It's smelling wonderful. So we'll place it in our bowl. I'm going to add a few of these homemade taco chips or tortilla chips. Now, a nice way to serve it up is to do a little dollop of sour cream, if you like that. And especially if you make it a little spicy, this really is a nice little touch because it'll cool it off a little. And a little bit of sprinkle of some mild cheddar cheese. All right, I'm ready to take a taste. Mm, that's really good. Nice and Flavorful, those, those caramelized onions really bring out the flavor. Make sure you, you caramelize them for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Don't skimp on that. It really makes a huge difference. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below when you try it and, and tell me how you liked it. So be sure and subscribe to my channel. And also head on over to cookingmexicanrecipes.com if you want some more Mexican recipes that you can make at home. Thanks for watching. Now today I'm going to show you how to make refried beans. Now this recipe is very simple. It has four ingredients and we're going to use one pot. And the flavor is going to be way better than anything you can buy in a can.